The Idaho State men's basketball team moved its game tonight against Cal State Northridge into Reed Gym because it was too cold to play inside Holt Arena. Tonight, ISU looked to make it two wins in a row. Idaho State hosting the Matadors. Bengals haven't won back-to-back -back games against Division I opponents since February of 2014. Toward the end of the first half, Jaron Wilbert sinks the smooth three. He had 15 for CSUN. Matadors held a one-point lead at the half. But in the second, Ali Farouk Bay went off the corner three in transition. We've got a tie ball game knotted at 41. And then more from Farouk Bay slicing his way down the lane. A career high, 32 points for him. Bengals leading by two. And then Gino Luzgando gets in on the act with a nice transition bucket. Idaho State wins at 84-79. Bengals are now 5-7 uh, and seven on the year, and they open Big Sky play Saturday at Weber State. The Idaho State women's team defeated Utah Valley this afternoon in Orem, 56-47 the final score. The Bengals erased an 8-point deficit to the Wolverines behind 15 points from Brooke Blair. ISU has now won five in a row. And one boys high school score tonight, Snake River beat Sugar Salem 57-37 the final.